Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Mary, the farm girl. Today, we are looking at Canadian resume writing formats. So this is how chronological resume writing format in the Canadian style looks like. And this is just a single page. So I have prepared this template to help you write your own resume. But in case you find it difficult to use the same, you can ask for similar service. You can join the membership uh, program and then I will help you with that. For now, here is where you shall write your name. So you write your name on that section. You just have to double click after you have downloaded this template, then it is going to give you this uh, prompt. After you have written your name there, you come and write your international phone number. And the reason I have said it is an international phone number, you want to make it as easy as possible for your potential employer to call you. Because remember, those local phone numbers are going to be tedious for them calling internationally into your local country so you want to make it as easy as possible for them to call you by giving them an international number after that then you're going to indicate the email address remember to use a gmail address because mostly the yahoo ones they take a lot of time to deliver so you want to use a gmail that is going to deliver as soon as the email is sent after that you're going to indicate your postal address and the city and if you have a linkedin profile kindly remember to include the link over here after you have done that then you're going to provide the professional summary you write a summary of your most important experiences skills and capabilities this part should be tailored to suit your skills required by the potential employer so this means that in the job description there is going to be those requirements you're going to tailor your skills to suit these requirements because when the employers are going to be reviewing your resume mostly employers first use the applicant tracking system and this system is used to sieve out those resumes that do not have the same keywords as the ones requested in the job description so even before that human resource manager gets to see your cv they first take it through the ats the applicant tracking system you want to go beyond the tracking system so that the resume that you're going to send it is going to reach to the human resource manager and he is going to review it for you so after you have tailored your skills you can include other experiences related to your occupation but make sure the largest portion suits the employer's needs perfectly however remember to remain very truthful about what you are capable of i'm not telling you to lie in this section no i'm just telling you if you have the experience remember to tailor it according to the job description now after you have written the professional summary you then go to the work experience part this is where you're going to include the title of the job that you did most recently and then the company the month and the year so if you, if you did your if you joined let's say in uh, January 2021 that is what you're going to be writing here and then you write up to present if you're still working for the company after you have written the company the month and the year the period that you have worked in this uh, company then you're going to describe the roles you held in one sentence for each role you should include the accomplishment that you made you should indicate two or three skills you used to accomplish the achievement. So in this case, you can mention the impact you had for the company that you are working for. For example, you can quote financial examples. Maybe in that year, you helped the company gain 75% more profits through sales by penetrating into new markets you can include that as your accomplishment or maybe if you are a truck driver you helped the company to save 50 percent on fuel you make sure that the impact is relevant to the business as possible that is to the job description as possible after now you have written your first or the most recent job title or job position you go ahead and write the one that you had done before this one so this is where you're going to put the job position you did before the one above and then you're going to write the company the period that you are in that position then you should repeat the same process is the first as in the first uh experience whereby you're going to write 
uh, the accomplishments that you made and you include two or three skills you used to accomplish these achievements. So you do the same. You mention the impact to the company you are working for and you can quote financial uh, improvements for if, for example, you achieved anything. For instance, if you are a farm worker, you helped the company to save 50% on fungicides and pesticides. But make sure that the, the experience that you're going to put in your resume suits perfectly or at least 70% with the job description. Now, you should not put every job that you have written or you have done in, in your career, especially if it does not uh, align with this job that you are going to be applying for. So you can put uh, the information or the job experience that is 10 to 15 years old. Uh, other than that, you don't have to include that. But if you do not have a lot of experience, it's okay. You can have two or three experiences as long as they suit the job description. Now, the next part that you're going to put is the education part, which is going to include your degree, diploma. After now you have written the education, you include the diploma here. Then you, it is going to be, for example, if you have done master's in biotechnology, then you include the university, the city, the country, and the period that you are doing that course. Any additional, for example, if you are recognized in the dean's list and you are given some scholarship awards, you can indicate them here to give your professional, to give your uh, resume more. More meat. Is it more meat? <laughs> yeah, or to give you to give to make it more unique from other applicants. Then you should include the other uh you should use the same thing. This is the most recent, that is the diploma or the degree. Then you go to college if you did college, or if you have a diploma or a degree that you did in the uh, in another period, then you write it chronologically, starting with the most recent to the least, to the last or to the one you did in the past. You don't have to include your high school and primary school or your kindergarten uh information because it is not relevant for this work that you're going to be applying for not unless the resume is required for you to write your high school education then you can include that after that you can now come here and write the skills you write the professional skills these are communication teamwork decision making conflict uh, problem solving these are examples that i have given you but you should insist more on the technical skills because this is what you're going to be looking for. the employer is going to be looking for especially for those people that are going to be applying for jobs in the farm work remember sometimes they say you don't have to have experience but if you have these technical skills like operating the computer having knowledge in microsoft excel and microsoft office having some technology information you know machinery operation then these are good technical skills to give your cv or your resume a unique standing point after that now you include the languages remember in canada the most and officially used languages are english and french so if you have uh, these languages then you're going to include them in this section and also remember if you have done your the ielts exams then you can also include them in the language section, especially with the score that you got. And this is going to reduce the need for the employer to keep requesting you for this information. And if they see that your resume qualifies with the job description that they need you for, and you have included that you have done your eyelets already, then you're going to be giving yourself a higher chance than other applicants. But if you have, if you have not done your eyelets, don't worry. It is okay. You can just present your resume like that. So generally, that is the uh, chronological resume writing format and as you can see guys it's just one page this information all of it suits one page so when you take this template to use it for yourself make sure that it suits uh, or it fits in one page maximum two pages but yes that is how it's going to be like as you write your resume remember this format is best suited for somebody who has experience and if that job requires you 
even when they have asked you not to give your experience or they say that you don't need to have experience for you to apply for the job, this is a good format to show that you actually have the experience and you can be able to qualify for the job more than the person that doesn't have experience. That is it. So until next time, guys, remember to subscribe, like, share and comment. Bye bye.